Hi, how you doing there, folks? This is what I want to talk to you about tonight. Folks, this is an exclusive that's going to knock your socks off. This happened about an hour and 45 minutes ago. Okay, what happened, folks? The Northwest Airlines flight ran in Detroit about an hour and 45 minutes ago. A passenger tried to blow it up. Well, with some powder and some liquid, and actually lit, lit it, there was some smoke. A uh, passenger noticed, jumped on top of him, and uh, the bombing at attack, attack was averted. It was a Nigerian guy, and he said he was working for Al Qaeda. Now, I got one question, and one big, huge question that I, that I want to talk to you folks about. Okay? A few years ago, there was an alert that that bombing artists working for Al Qaeda or Muslim terrorists could take on liquids, mix it, and then use make it into a bomb. We already know about fertilizer because Timothy McVeigh did that. But now this is a new thing all over again. Okay, folks. Now my question is. The point where you're getting on a plane, now this would not show up really in an x-ray. I don't think so. Why is there not dogs at every gate to detect explosives? I thought there were supposed to be hand checks of luggage. Why is this not done, folks? I don't know. Are we safe? Are people safe really to fly? This could, this, this could happen again. Now, now for a while, the guard's going to be up. We're going to have our guard up. You know, Richard Reed tried to ride, ride his shoes up and blow a plane up. For a while, the guard is going to be up. But you know what, folks? After a while, it's going to be relaxed, back to business as usual. And it's going to come one time when it's actually going to happen where a bombing artist actually is going to succeed. All of a sudden, in the middle of the air, Folks, what kind of idiots do we have looking out for us? This is absolutely ridiculous, folks. It's absolutely ridiculous how the 911 hijacking ev e hijackings even happened to begin with. I want to talk to you also about that right now, folks. A month before I read in the New York Times that we intercepted chatter at Al Qaeda was going to hijack planes and was going to crash them into landmarks. Well, lo and behold, a month later, 9-11 sure did happen, folks. Another thing I want to talk to you about is why the heck was there not air marshals? Why didn't we have military on every single one of these planes if we're getting that kind of a tip? I sure would have did it if I was the president. Now we knew about the liquid thing a few years ago. So you went there hands supposed to be hand checks or luggage and all that. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? No. We we we, we relax security, wait right back to a calm as usual. Here we go again, folks. Now guess what? A couple months from now, oh everything is great, everything's fine and dandy. You know? And then again and again the same thing's gonna happen eventually. One time this actually is going to succeed. Why do we not have the security on these airliners the same like Israel does with LOL? Hmm? How come we don't have that tight security that, that Israel has? Why is it that Israel has the best airline security in the world and us with us a bunch of idiot donkeys? What the heck is going on, folks? Chuck Schumer, hopefully you're gonna you're gonna come right on to the story because you seem to you 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 I think you're the best U.S. senator that we have, and you usually highlight a lot of a lot why these these breaches of security that exists. How the heck could this have happened? I it doesn't make any sense, folks. It doesn't make any sense. I really think, I really think that 
airliners should not be allowed to fly over city centers just because of the danger that, that there could be an idiot up there with a bomb or even if even the plane might something might go wrong with the plane like what happened with a uh, with a uh, with, uh, with some of these 747s like the like the Swiss Airlines flight that blew up right outside of Newfoundland then the, then the Pan Am flight that went down over long right past Long Island into the ocean so folks but that's another whole kettle fish Getting back to the security thing, we just don't learn, folks. We just don't learn. Right after the Cuban hijacking things happened, back, back, back right after the Cuban boat left, there was nine planes, approximately nine planes, that were hijacked by Cubans sent to Cuba. Why did we not get smart after that and have air marshals in every single flight to prevent hijackings? You know why? We just don't learn. And basically, basically, basically it's going to be the same thing again. Now, now things are going to get tight now because this happened. And eventually, so everything's going to be again, business as usual. And eventually, one time it's going to succeed. It's actually going to happen. A whole flight is going to go down with 250 passengers, babies, and, and guess what? There's going to be a lot of crying. There's going to be a lot of hollering. Guess what? Even after that, we ain't gonna learn. Pretty soon, I have wait a couple months later, again, business as usual. Who gives a care? This basically, LL, Israel, they care. They, they, they screen every LL flight. It's almost impossible for someone to get on with a bomb there. But our airlines, this is the attitude when it comes to security from our airlines. Basically, it's this. You know? What kind of dummies do we have in charge of our security? Mm -hmm.